I kind of felt that I wanted to make people dance a bit because acoustic nights are great nights and I do love going to acoustic nights because there's a calmed and chilled out vibe but sometimes you want to dance and I kind of wanted to make people dance and I was finding it hard to do that on my own with an acoustic bass guitar so I decided to get a band together so that we could have a bit of you know a beat rolling on and uh, that kind of thing so we'll hopefully do it I suppose hopefully if not you know let's try something else out so. I found it quite hard. I've done a few quite um, large support gigs, and I found it quite hard to grab people's attention when you're standing on quite a big stage just with an acoustic bass. Um, so we'll have to see how this goes. But it's the gigs so far have been like wicked. You know, people have been really like having a good time and that. So it's all been going well so far. I think the most important thing with a live act and even on record is just the vibe of it. You know, it's n never been about. This is why you get grade 12 guitarists or grade 12 whatever who just cannot understand why they're not, you know, doing amazingly well. It's because it's not about that. It's about the vibe of a song, you know, and making everything sound, yeah, that sounds wicked. And you can't, you can't fake that. You can't, you know, learn that. Um, so that's why, you know, you've got to, even if it is fucking ramshackle, God, just put one mic over it. Bollocks, doesn't matter. Probably sound better than 15 mics on a drum kit. You know, I've tried both and trust me, it fucking does half the time.